Hello, my name is John Sayer, Technical Marketing Manager, Civil Infrastructure, here at Autodesk. Today I would like to talk about one of the What's New features in AutoCAD Civil 3D 2018, creating offset profiles. So a little bit about this project. We, we're actually going to design our roadway here where this parking area is, just a little bit different than what's typical for a corridor that's running through, through this particular section. So we're going to do that by setting a low point here at the edge of the parking stripes and control that with an offset profile. Inside of Civil 3D 2018, we're able to actually create an offset profile that vertically shows different grades according to how the baseline is set inside of our model. I'm going to go up and I'm going to create an offset alignment. All right, so I'm going to grab my baseline and we're going to tell it here that my offset on the left is zero because I'm going to offset my my alignment and profile information to the right here. That's where I'm concerned. All right, and the whole idea design-wise is to see if we can create a channel to channelize the water, or maybe set an inlet here instead of having an inlet in the corner. Um, so this this parking will actually slope back towards maybe uh, like an inverted crown in the road. So that incremental offset is going to be 16 feet. We will just use our, our styles of offset and we won't label this particular alignment. So what I want you to see here is that we can create this offset profile also with the offset alignment. So the parent profile that it's going to use is FGC. That's the parent vertical profile of the alignment, road B. The profile that we profile view that we will superimpose this into is this particular profile view. If you don't know the name, you can select your... Uh, uh, select from drawing button and pick that profile view. The initial cross slope for that parent profile is negative 2%. So that's the cross slope down from the center line of the road to the edge of where our offset alignment is going to be. All right, so once that's set, we can go ahead and hit OK. And you will see that there, that red line here, that is our offset profile. And that's 2% down from our finished grade. So now I want to go back and start to create some areas where that's going to be adjusted, meaning from this point here, I want to come down at a specific slope that's different so that the cross slope shows differently in our profile. So let's do this. Let's uh, let's select our alignment, and then I'll go to Offset Profile Properties. All right, and inside of this dialog box, this is where we can set our offset parameters. This is much like setting super elevation on our alignments and things of that nature. It looks kind of the same. So I'm going to go ahead and hit the plus sign here, and I'm going to create and, and tell it where to start my initial station. All right, so I'm just going to select, I want it to start right here, and the slope on this, this will be my normal crown, so I'll say negative 2, all right, that's negative 2%, and I'll just pull back to about right here and say that that's going to go down and transition to negative 6%. I'll have the same transition up here. All right, so that'll be negative 6. And then I'll go back to a negative 2% slope here. All right, negative 2. And when I hit Enter, you can see oh, it'll, it'll bring back up my dialog. And if I hit Apply, you can see that that's been applied here inside of my profile. So what does that mean? I have a transition down to this particular station at negative 6%. All right, so this water now is flowing from here to the edge, from the baseline to the edge of pavement, a little bit different than just a normal crown. If we see that we need to adjust that more, we can always go back and say, maybe these are negative 5% instead of negative 6. All right, so I'll go back and say negative 5, and I'll hit apply, and it updates my profile. So this is a, a pretty typical scenario on where you might use offset profiles. I hope that the information in this video has helped you to understand one of the new features inside of Civil 3D 2018. I want to thank you for watching, and have a great day.